anthropologists excited about their new discovery. They said it was like finding King Tut's tomb in Egypt. A sealed chamber reportedly has been found in a Neanderthal cave in Gibraltar. The discoveries made in the newly found chamber reportedly include a number of animal and bird bones as well as large dog whelk shell. A previously sealed chamber remained isolated from the world for thousands of years. It's been discovered recently by researchers excavating the Gorham Cave Complex located in, at the rocks of Gibraltar, which was occupied by Neanderthals for thousands of centuries in the distant past, according to Guardian reports. And according to the paper, this discovery was made when a team led by Professor Clive Finlayson, evolutionary biologist and director of the Gibraltar National Museum, stumbled upon a gap in the sediment which led them to a 13-meter space in the roof of the cave. That's about 40 feet. In a way, it's almost like discovering the tomb of Tutankhamun. You're going into a space that no one has been into for 40,000 years. It's quite sobering, really, Finlayson remarked. The findings made inside the chamber included a number of bones, such as a leg bone from a lynx, vertebrae from a spotted hyena, and a large wing bone from a griffin vulture, with Professor Finlayson suggesting that something dragged things into there a long time ago. Please support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The team also reportedly discovered a large dog whelk shell there, with the professor saying that bit of the cave is probably 20 meters, that's about 60 feet above sea level today. So clearly somebody took it up there sometime before 40,000 years ago. That's already a hint that people have been up there, he said. The newspaper also notes that the researchers believe clues about the existence and society of the so-called Mediterranean Neanderthals could be found in this new area. He said, these caves have been giving us a great deal of information about the behavior of these people. Finlayson said, and so far, far from the old view of the brutish ape-like beings, we are realizing that in every respect, they were human and capable of most of the things that modern humans were capable of doing. We even know that they were interchanging genes. And that's something else we'll go into because Neanderthals could have had close relations with Homo sapiens, they said. This is on Sputnik News by Andre Dergalen. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.